Schools all across the country are looking again at arming classroom teachers. So right here in Georgia, it is already legal. So where are the armed teachers in our state of Georgia? Are there any at all? 11 Alive John Sherrick is digging into that for us tonight. Ask a veteran kindergarten teacher here in Metro Atlanta, do you know any teachers anywhere in Georgia who arm themselves in the classroom? Not one, she'll tell you. We are educators. We are not law enforcement. This kindergarten teacher, Lisa Morgan, is also president of the Georgia Association of Educators. And she says that even though a state law was passed back in 2014, empowering local school boards in Georgia to arm their teachers, only about four school districts did so, at least for a time, after Parkland in 2018, including Fannin County Schools. Parent Elliot Southworth told us then he wanted his child's teacher to carry a gun in class. I think Fannin will be much less likely to have an incident now, when you create a gun-free zone, you've taken away all the security. We're working to reach Fannin County Schools about the impact of the policy and if it is still in place, but almost all Georgia school boards still are declining to arm their teachers, which is what Lisa Morgan and the GAE hope does not change. We believe the only individuals in a school building who are armed should be properly trained law enforcement. Former Congresswoman Gabby Gifford's gun control organization lists Georgia among 28 states that allow classroom teachers to be armed. And the group says there have been dozens of serious gun accidents in schools across the country in the past five years, partly as a result of teachers mishandling the guns. But backers of Georgia's law insist that the more armed teachers there are in a school, the quicker the response to armed intruders. As it is, most Georgia school Once boards again, are saying are no saying thanks. Our schools are a reflection of the communities around them, and we must solve the problem of gun violence in our communities. That's how it enters our schools. 